What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and in this video we're talking about 10 tips and tricks all brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 players need to know if you just got Red Dead Redemption 2 on Christmas. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and drop the video like as we are so close to 200,000 subscribers. And if you are a returning viewer of my channel and you're a Red Dead Redemption 2 expert, then in the comment section, help all the new players that just got Red Dead Redemption 2 today for Christmas in the comment section. So let's add to my list anything that may be helpful to you this list is strictly for Red Dead Redemption 2 story, not online, as I have a follow-up video to this for the online version. And it's just a quick way for you to get a really good handle on what to expect in Red Dead Redemption 2. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with number one for this 10 tips and tricks has to be the fact that saving your game is incredibly important. One of my biggest regrets playing Red Dead Redemption 2 is not creating different saves for different percentages of the game. Example, you have about 10 save slots. You should be saving your game as often as possible, but about every 10% of your playthrough and completion, you should create a new save like layer so that if you ever want to load back for whatever reason, go back to chapter one, go to chapter three, go to chapter five. You can do that with every single one of your saves and you'll always have a place to go back to. Now, you may be wondering like, Garrett, why do I ever want to go back? There might be some things you'll miss and we'll talk about that later on in this tips and tricks, but I highly recommend saving your game on top of your auto saves as well. So let's say you are playing your game and you notice your game has not auto saved in a while. Be sure to just overwrite your autosave as long as you haven't gone back recently. So anytime you progress in the game, um, you should be saving and always checking if your autosave is saving because I went once eight hours of playing Red Dead Redemption 2 without it ever saving. And if my PS4 would have crashed or the power would have went out or anything drastic would have happened, I would have lost eight hours of progress and that would have sucked coming in at number two is relationships and relationships in red dead redemption 2 are super important and that may sound super weird to you but each encounter you make throughout your playthrough including strangers while riding your horse will play a role into how your character develops and how he is seen throughout the community and different areas of red dead redemption 2. If you go around killing everyone and be a hardened outlaw then you will be treated as such but if you're a kind, generous individual that is helping the community, always saying hello and being nice to people instead of antagonizing people, then you won't run into many issues. But of course, you will run into issues if you're just an a-hole. So don't be an a-hole that much. You can play your game how you want, but just know that whatever you choose to do affects your playthrough. Coming in at number three is your horse. Now, there are many different horses in Red Dead Redemption 2 to choose from on which horse you want to be your horse. If you want the best horse in Red Dead Redemption 2 story, I have a guide on my channel showcasing how to get the best horse in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's actually super simple and easy, so make sure you guys check that out. And uh, you need to treat your horse like you would treat your best friend. And if you treat your best friend poorly in real life or you don't have friends, then I recommend you treat your horse how you want to be treated. Just treat your horse with kindness and compassion. Remember to feed your horse because if you treat your horse right, your horse will treat you right. There isn't a time in Red Dead that you will not be on your horse going from point to point. You're going to be using your horse a lot. There is no vehicles in this game, so you will be on your horse pretty often. And if you're just really mean to your horse, you're not keeping a good care of your horse, you're not feeding your horse, it's not going to really perform to the level that you want it to perform. So make sure you treat that horse with super love and care and do what you need to do to make sure that this horse is uh, getting the proper conditioning it needs for the crazy adventures you're going to be going on. Some of the best ways your horse can uh, get proper care is at the stables. If you make a quick pit stop at a local stable, whatever town you're in, you'll notice that you can do things to your horse by like giving it baths. It will give it a uh, higher uh, fortification with health and stamina, which are great to have, especially fortification of stamina. It's going to run you a little bit of money, but it's not that big of a deal. Highly recommend doing it, especially if you're in the area. Do it. It's, it's worth it. We spoke about uh, crime and being an outlaw earlier in this tips and tricks. And I want to let you guys know that doing crime in Red Dead Redemption 2 story and being an outlaw is so much fun. I highly recommend it if you want to just have the most enjoyable experience in going around shooting everybody 
it is pretty fun. Now, one thing you do need to know that if you wear a mask in Red Dead Redemption 2, it is one of the most important things you can do in towns because it will prevent people from recognizing who you are. As Arthur Morgan throughout your playthrough, you'll notice that people start to recognize you for what you're wearing, your face, your horse, and they'll say hi to you like, hey, how you doing? because they recognize you came into the town earlier. Even visiting the butcher and other NPCs will say, oh, I've never seen you around here before. Or, oh, hey man, how's everything going? Because they start to create a relationship with you. If you wear a mask in Red Dead Redemption 2, it pretty much prevents the locals and NPCs from knowing who you are. And that's super important, especially when doing crime. If you decide to rob a store or rob something and you're wearing a mask, you won't get recognized. Now, the only way you will get recognized by wearing a mask is if the police see you the police for whatever reason can always recognize you with or without a mask they always know you're arthur morgan so if you do not wear a mask you will get recognized if you wear a mask and get seen by the police you will not you will get recognized as well so make sure when you're doing when you're doing crime just make sure when someone sees you do it no cop sees you perform this crime if a cop sees you you'll get a bounty and you'll become wanted in that area super easy to avoid it just don't get seen by cops that's it number five is coming in at hunting now hunting is a very key uh important thing to do in red dead redemption 2 and it's actually a lot of fun you'll notice that skinning animals hunting and just enjoying your time in the free roam is how you're going to spend most of your time if you blow through the story in the campaign you won't of course enjoy free roam as much but it is one of the main things you want to look at because you can spend upwards of like 20 hours just playing the free roam it's so great like there's so many things you can do so many things you can discover and explore and i have tons of awesome easter egg secrets guides tips and tricks here on the channel that you can just look back on if you just recently got red dead redemption 2. um i would not be where i am today with red dead if it wasn't for the amount of people that entrusted me for quality content and I've been putting out videos since the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I actually, just to let you know, I started this YouTube channel October 4th. So I started uploading on this channel October 4th. And we're approaching 200,000 subscribers. And we're getting 11 million views a month. And that is not normal for uh, a growing YouTuber. So it just shows the type of content I put up on this channel. And how many people I've helped throughout my Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, I guess, career that's so weird to say uh, that's that's a thing but hunting is super important and when you go hunting be sure to know what kind of animals you are hunting now on the bottom right when hunting animals you'll see three stars poor good and perfect that's what those three stars mean a three star is a perfect a two star is a good and a one star is a poor now when you're hunting these different types of animals will be worth different values poor being the the least amount of money you'll get for your for your time and perfect being the most now with these animals you can see a three star but if you use the wrong rifle and ammo then you will get poor quality animals so let's say you see a perfect rabbit and you're like oh my god i'm gonna kill this rabbit i'm gonna use my freaking shotgun if you use a shotgun on a rabbit it's gonna make that rabbit instantly poor quality you want to use a varmint rifle for a rabbit because it's a smaller animal smaller animals varmint rifles birds varmint rifles actually here is a quick little picture showcasing what types of animals require what types of weapons and ammo so if you want take a picture of that right there so you always have it on you so you know hey this type of animal requires this type of rifle or this type of shotgun or this type of bow or this type of ammo so you never can like mess up it's it's not that hard you'll get used to it as you play i promise number six moving into everyone's favorite topic and that is money making money making in red dead redemption 2 is super easy i have tons of money making guides here in my channel to really help you through the process as it could get a little bit confusing if you don't know like if you first get your first 100 bounty you're like oh my god everything's over like i have a hundred dollar bounty this is all over for me no it's not the case dude 100 e is easily obtainable um throughout my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2, I got in the upwards of $20,000, which is crazy during this time period. Now, all my guides, tips, and tricks tutorials here on the channel do not involve exploits or cheats. They're all legit money-making methods because I personally believe in a Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, using exploits and glitches and cheats to further gain your progress only ruin your playthrough experience because then you have no purpose. Using exploits in a single-player game like this really can ruin the experience that the game is intended for you to have um money is important but it should not be your old your all-time goal as it's very easy to make money and some easy ways to make money 
are just by simply playing the game, as well as doing bank robberies, carriage robberies, robbing people you may see out in the road. Uh, bounty hunting are all great ways to make money if you want to be an outlaw, but there are other activities that do not involve crime to make you some money, like mini game, hunting, um, poker, and all those very easy ways to make money. I, I truly, truly believe there's no reason you should ever use an exploit or glitch to further your, your dollar bills. Number seven is one that I highly recommend all new players be super aware of, and that is doing missions in your camp. Now, throughout your Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough, you'll notice there's six chapters. In these six chapters, there are side missions you can do within your camp. In chapters one, two, three, four, there are super crucial side missions that are very time sensitive. An example, in chapter two, there is like three side missions you can do. And if you don't do those side missions in chapter two and three, you won't be able to do them further on. So when you progress through your main story, which is the yellow icons on the map, be sure to also progress through your side stories, the white icons near you, because if you do not do so, you will not be able to do them further into your playthrough. So chapter one, two, three, four, super crucial chapters. There's awesome house robberies. There's carriage robberies. There's bank robberies that are only available to you during those chapters. You cannot play them further on. So you need to do them very, very early on through your playthrough to ensure that you get those awesome like missions done. You just, in, you just, further your playthrough experience. Coming in at number eight, we have legendary animals. Now, if you're super new to the game and have no idea what a legendary animal is, I have a legendary animal guide on my channel showcasing different legendary animals that are really great to hunt. Um, legendary animals are pretty much like every other animal you may see throughout your playthrough. If you have played through the story, you may have encountered the legendary bear. Now, this legendary grizzly bear is just one of many legendary animals throughout the game. These legendary animals, when hunted and killed, reward you different things from clothing to trinkets and different items you will need to unlock things you will not be able to get unless you kill these legendary animals. I highly recommend every single one of you guys check out the legendary animals because the trinkets you can get from killing legendary animals are amazing. Things from extra XP, uh, increased money from looting, increased dead eye pool, stamina pool, health pool, and more. So check out legendary animals. And if you run into a legendary animal area throughout your playthrough, make sure you do them. It's super important. Highly recommend it. Coming in at number nine is your dead eye. Now, dead eye is super fun to use. And if you have not checked it out, you just press your R3 and L3, your analog uh, in, and it activates dead eye. Now, as you progress through your playthrough, you'll notice your dead eye evolves over time. And what's great about dead eye is actually uh, this cool method that allows you to never lose ammo. When activating dead eye, it actually replenishes your bullets. So I highly recommend using the system when you shoot bullets. So let's say you have a magazine of 10 uh, bullets. Let's say you get to the ninth bullet. If you use your dead eye, it'll actually replenish your dead eye fully to 100%. I'm sorry, your ammo. So if you had uh, only one ammo left or one shot left and you use dead eye, it activates all the way back to you having a full magazine or clip. So super, super easy tip and trick for you to make sure you take advantage of because it's available to you. Number 10 is going to be a super cliche and um, I guess derpy number 10 tip and trick but i i just want to quickly make sure and highlight this very important aspect of red dead redemption 2 and that is to have fun red dead redemption 2 is a game of enjoyment and good times if you are not having fun throughout your game then you are doing it wrong there are so many things you can do in this game that just enhance your experience and i want to just make sure you guys enjoy red dead redemption 2 to its maximum capacity by just playing highly recommend you just play the game have a good time. Do not rush through things. There's no rush for anything. If you're trying to rush through it to get to the online portion, online will always be there. It's not going away and you can just enjoy your story mode progress. It's so much fun. There's so much depth to the game and there's so much to learn throughout your playthrough that I highly recommend. Just enjoy it. It's all you got to do. Have a good time. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you want to see other tips and tricks, make sure you guys check out my channel. I have so many that will help you through your gaming experience. And my name is Garrett, better known as Outlaw Gary here on this channel. And I'll see you guys later with the brand new video. Later, guys. Oh